Right now, I need you to slow down, stop what you are doing, and please go check out our brand new tutorial on how to make multiple LEDs blink using Arduino. All right, welcome back to Quick Tech Tutorials. Today we're gonna to continue learning about how to light up LEDs using the Arduino. Uh, the previous tutorial, we had just made one LED light up, uh, turn on and off. In this case, we're gonna do that with several LEDs. We're gonna actually make a traffic light pattern. So if you didn't watch the previous tutorial, please check out how to turn an LED on and off. Uh, if you've watched that already, then we're going to just review some of the basic skills that we learned in the previous tutorial uh, to make this new circuit and again, uh, create the traffic light pattern. So one of the first things that we needed to do right, was we need to t uh, label what pins we're going to use and what we're going to call those pins. So I have a red LED, a yellow LED, and a green LED. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label my red LED and we're going to say that's in pin 11. Uh, I'm going to use my yellow LED in pin uh, 10. And then the last one, I'm going to use my green LED in pin 9. All right, so I now know which pins I'm using and I've given them a name. Now we're going to go into void setup and this is where we're going to uh, tell our pins what their job is going to be. So in the previous tutorial, we talked about labeling the pin. Uh, as an input or an output. Uh, this one, we're gonna call these outputs, right? They're LEDs, so we want them to light up. So pin mode, right, with a capital M in mode, we're gonna say red is an output. All right, we're gonna say yellow is an output, right? Remember, output has to be in all capital letters. And then we're gonna say pin mode, green is an output. All right, so we have that. Now on our input, we had said that this code just runs once, so we, that's all we need to do there. Now I'm gonna go down to void loop. This is where the fun begins, where we can write our program to create our traffic light pattern. Again, this is just reviewing the basic uh, steps that we did with one LED. What we're doing it now is with several LEDs and just creating the pattern. So first thing I wanna do is I'm going to have the red, yellow, and green LED turn on and off altogether for one second to show the beginning of my uh, program. And then after that, we'll, we'll edit each individual LED. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna use digital write, and we're gonna say red is going to be high. All right, in the previous tutorial, we talked about what digital write was. In this case, we just want the LED to turn on or off. Uh, yellow is going to be high. All right, digital right, oops. And then green, going to be high. And we're gonna say that this is gonna last for one second. Now we talked about the thousand, right? We're, we're, we're using milliseconds here. So a thousand milliseconds equals one second. Now, I want the lights to then turn off for one whole second before we begin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy Right, and paste that whole thing, but instead of high, now I'm just gonna write low, which means off. So low, low, low. All right, so so far I have my red, yellow, and green are turning on for a second, then they're turning off for a second. Now again, this is in void loop, so this is gonna repeat at the beginning of every program, every time the program runs. Now what I'm gonna do is I want my green LED to start first. All right, so we're gonna write, Digital right. We're gonna write green. And we're gonna say hi, right, because we want it on. And we're gonna say we want it to run for, uh, let's say five seconds. So five seconds is 5,000 milliseconds. All right, now what I need to do is I need to turn that LED off because I wanna go from green to then turn to yellow for a amount of time and then change to red, just like a traffic light would run. So right now my green LED is gonna be on for five seconds. Now I need to turn it off. So we're gonna say digital right, green, low. All right, so our LED is now off. Now, one thing you wanna notice is this digital right did not light up. So I need to check something really quick. D-I-G-I-T-A-L, 
Now, I spelled right wrong. There we go, I was just running through my letters. So, something to check. If you see something, a code that should light up and it didn't, you have a little typo. I also just noticed here, I don't have my uh, closed parentheses. There we go. All right, so now my green LED is off. Next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go turn my yellow LED on. All right, so we have that. And I'm gonna have this one run for only uh, two seconds. So delay, 2,000 seconds. All right, we gotta turn the yellow off. So digital right, yellow low. And now I'm gonna have my red turn on for three seconds. So digital right. Red, we want high. Uh, we're gonna make that last for uh, we said three seconds. Oops. And then one more time, we now need to turn our red LED off. So. All right, so just reviewing my code to make sure we're all good. Um, so again, in a loop, this will keep repeating once it runs through all the steps. So I have my red, yellow, and green LED turning on for one second and then I have it turning off for one second. Then just the green LED turns on for five seconds. It then turns off. As it turns off, the yellow LED will turn on and will stay lit for two seconds. That will turn off, and when that turns off, the red LED will turn on, and that'll stay lit for three seconds, and then it'll turn off, and then repeat the code. The, green, uh, the red, yellow, and green LED will turn on for a second, turn off for a second, and it'll keep running through this pattern. All right, so before we download this code, let's go build our circuit. All right, guys, so what I did is I went ahead and I built the circuit just to save a little bit of time, but I'm going to show you what I did. So I have my red, my yellow, and my green LEDs. Now, in the previous tutorial, we talked about that when you're going to build an LED or build a circuit with an LED, you have to have a resistor in series with it. Otherwise, you'll burn it out. So I have 3,000 ohm resistors lined up in series with my red, yellow, and green LED. Uh, in my program, I said that my red LED was going to be connected to pin 11. My yellow was connected to uh, pin 10, and my green was connected to pin 9. So, see if I could bring it up here really quick. All right, you can see at the top of the board, right, green goes into 9, yellow goes into 10, and red goes into 11. Uh, one habit that's good to get into when you're building circuits is to color code your wires so you know where they go. Um, so I use the red, yellow, and green jumper cable, and you notice I have two black jumper cables as well, and those are my, uh, my negative or my ground. So we also talked about with an LED how they have to be inserted in the proper way. Um, in an LED, you have an anode and a cathode, which is a positive and a negative. The anode is the longer one. So you have to make sure that that portion is connected to your resistor and the cathode goes to your negative. So what I've done is I've taken power right from my pins, put them into my breadboard, and we discussed how the pins are arranged on a breadboard in the previous tutorial. Um, I have the, the jumper cables going to the beginning of a resistor. All right, current's flowing through the resistor, and then I have my LED connected to the other end of the resistor, or the anode's connected to the other end of the resistor. And then the cathode of each of my LEDs is in the negative uh, bar along the bottom of my breadboard. Right, we talked about the positive and negative bars are connected horizontally, whereas all these other uh, points in the middle of the breadboard are connected vertically. So what I did is I have the cathode of each of my LEDs in the negative bar, and I ran a jumper cable from the negative bar on the bottom to the negative bar on the top, right? And we mentioned that the negative is all connected horizontally. And I took one more jumper cable and I ran it from the negative and put it back to the ground in my, uh, in my Arduino board. So you could see here, if I could zoom in or focus really quick, there we go. I have that last black jumper cable back into ground, which completes the circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the board into my computer and we're going to download the code to see if it works. All right, so at this point we have our circuit built. We have all of our programming done. So the first thing I'm going to do before I download it is I'm going to hit the check button that verifies it, make sure all of our programming is correct. All right, we don't want to worry about saving it right now. We're going to hit. Now, saying I have an error message right here, it's highlighting it, which is actually a good thing that it happened. So what I did, I'm looking at my code. We have to have a semicolon after each line, and I didn't do that here. So I'm going to get rid of that, type the semicolon, and let's hit verify again.
and perfect no error messages came up this time so everything else should be good so now what we're gonna do let's hit upload and yep, don't want to save it right now if we hit upload right we have our status bar and if everything worked our LED should turn on and off and then we should run through green for five seconds it should then change to yellow for two seconds and then finally stay red for three seconds and again it's in the loop so our, our lights will turn on and off and go through the circuit again so you could play around with this you can obviously of course change the timing you could add more leds this is just kind of a uh, another tutorial on connecting leds to your arduino and programming them to do uh, just simple basic on and off functions i uh, hope you enjoyed it please uh, make sure to subscribe uh, to our channel and also follow us on instagram to so stay updated on any new tutorials we post